Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of How I Tank. Now, yesterday I asked you what sort of video you'd like to see on the channel today as a result of uh, the 3K subscriber week, where you guys get to influence what videos appear on the channel. Uh, and the one that got the most votes was How I Tank, and more specifically, How I Tank based around personal missions. Now, I really don't know how this is going to go, um, because I'm in a very, very privileged position of having a lot of tanks. So for the personal missions, I was able to choose lots of tanks, uh, lots of opportunity to, you know, pick tanks that would get my missions done very, very easily. But I do appreciate or I do recognize the fact that a lot of you guys are struggling with the missions um, and you're struggling maybe because you don't have a huge selection of tanks uh, and you're trying to complete missions that, um, you know, that are much more difficult due to a limited selection of tanks you can pick. Um, as you can see, I'm not even in a good position to talk about personal missions, so I really don't know how the video is going to go. Um, I flew through the, the Stug and I, the T-28 concept missions I thought were pretty easy. I got through those very quickly. Uh, I'm currently on the T-55A mission, so I'm not even in a position to talk about, you know, the the really difficult missions for some tanks. Um, but uh, as you can see, T-55A, I'm progressing nicely. Um, I'm stuck on a couple of RNG missions at the moment, but, um, you know, We've got most of the missions done for the light tanks, or over half of them. Um, got about a third of the tanks done for the mediums. Stuck on RNG, destroy three enemy SPGs. I'm finding very difficult to do. Um, you know, heavy tanks. Uh, I'm about over halfway. Should be finished the heavy tanks pretty soon. Um, tank destroyers. I've completed. I'm done with the tank destroyers for the T55A, uh, and the SPGs. I'm just getting started on. But um, yeah, it's. It's very easy for me to talk about missions because I've got such a big selection of tanks and that's probably the best advice I can give is the more tanks you have in your garage, maybe even consider if you don't have that many tanks but you've sold tanks in the past, maybe even rebuying some tanks if you've got the garage slots because the bigger selection of tanks you have, the more opportunity you have of completing missions because you can custom fit a tank to fit a, uh, a particular mission. But uh, as I say, I do appreciate the fact maybe some of you are struggling on Stug missions, some of you are struggling on uh, T28 concept missions. Uh, and as I say, I don't feel really comfortable talking about personal missions because I haven't completed them all. But I'll do what I can. Um, it's what you wanted to see on the channel, so we'll just see how the, the video works. Um, I mean, a lot of videos or a lot of the missions for the Stug I found very easy. I think I completed the Stug in just a week or so. Um, and the main, main thing you've got to keep an eye on on is uh, the Stug missions, uh, they're for tier, or tier 4 or higher, uh, and a lot of the Stug missions can be done in tier 4 tanks. I mean, it's a lot easier if you've got higher tier tanks. I mean, doing these light tank missions with a, with a tier 8 tank, a tier 8 light tank, incredibly easy, and that, that's how I flew through them. Um, you know, so tier 4 or higher for the Stug, uh, you've got to be tier 5 or higher for the uh, T28 heavy tank concept, and you've got to be tier 6 or higher for the uh, T55A. Now it is possible, it is possible to get up to a tier 6 tank in a day if you play, you know, from tier 1 to tier 6. It's going to take a lot of games, but it, it is possible to get yourself tier 4 tanks, tier 5 tanks in, you know, just a couple of hours or a few hours if, if you really need to. Uh, but having more tanks in your garage is definitely the first tip I would have for doing these missions, but yeah, as I say, a lot of you aren't in that position. Um, so I suppose we'll talk about Stug missions, and I don't even know what missions you're stuck on because it all depends on your playstyle. If you're an aggressive player, you're going to find some missions easier than others. If you're a passive player, you're going to find some missions easier than others. Um, but I suppose yeah, we'll just we'll just talk about we'll talk about the Stug missions, which is tier four, um, tier four and higher. Uh, so I'm only up to, only need to get up to tier 6, so... Stug missions for light tanks, so we'll switch to light tanks tier 4 and above. Now personally I found the Stug missions quite easy, but as I say, I only found it easy because I've got so many tanks and so many higher tier tanks. But um, there's lots of really, really good tanks. I mean, uh, we've got light tanks here. Actually, let me just switch this off. Do I have any tier 4 light tanks? See, I only keep the best tanks. I only keep the ones I really, really enjoy playing. So here we go. We've got the looks. 
Uh, it looks as a tier 4 and it's an absolutely amazing light tank at tier 4. Um, very, very good light tank to try and do missions in. So um, if you're struggling with light tank missions for the Stug, then I really, really recommend the looks. It's the only tier 4 light tank I've kept in my garage. Um, and I mean, let's go through the missions. Um, We've got Light Tank 1, win the battle, be amongst the top 10 players in your team by experience earned. Uh, really no advice I can give for that, that's just straightforward. Personally spot at least two enemy vehicles, you don't even have to survive the battle, but you do for secondary conditions. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of just be aggressive at the beginning of the game, just drive up, try and get into an early bush, or go active spotting, um, go up, spot two tanks, and then run away, because all you've got to do is spot two and survive. Um, so, you know, straightforward mission, um, cause damage to enemy vehicles at least two times by shooting them looks looks the gun on the looks is amazing it's an auto loader i mean you could complete that mission by just emptying one clip into an enemy tank uh it's a very easy mission for the looks uh forced i didn't even realize i haven't got secondaries on some of these missions but um destroy a track of an enemy vehicle again very very easy just drive around the corner start pumping shots out in as i say a tank like the looks into an enemy track uh, you're probably even going to kill them as well with the looks but um all you have to do is destroy destroy the track but the secondary is your allies must cause damage to the vehicle immobilized by you so maybe maybe the looks isn't a good one for this one um i used a higher tier um use a higher tier light tank maybe something from tier five um chaffee chaffee is okay elc elc is an amazing tank for doing this mission you've got nice high alpha damage on the gun um so all you have to do is destroy a track and then hope hope someone else shoots him uh, while he's tracked. But uh, yeah, this the, you can do this in a lot of light tanks. As I say, this is one that probably the looks might not be great at. Um, if you're struggling, if you're struggling with this particular mission, then what you might want to do is platoon, uh, maybe two light tanks together. Um, you go around a corner, track the tank, and then your platoon mate comes around and shoots him. Uh, and that's the mission done. That is the mission done. Uh, forward observer. What's this one? Spot an enemy vehicle and assist your allies in destroying it. Uh, very, very easy. It's just go up, spot an enemy tank. You have to be the one that does the spot and shoot them or hope that your friends shoot them. And again, might be good to have a platoon mate or two platoon mates with you who can uh, shoot any tanks you're spotting. Uh, spot enemy vehicles and enable your allies to cause damage to at least two enemy vehicles spotted by you so yeah that's that's basically um same thing secondary is primary spot one secondary is spot two spot a tank and hope your allies do damage to them uh play in a platoon uh that's probably the best advice i have you don't need to uh and it's not a platoon mission but it's probably the best advice i have for that one uh, battle support. Uh, enable your allies to cause damage to two enemy vehicles by spotting them or damaging their tracks. So that one's a little bit, uh, that's important. Uh, if you're on a city map, it's a little bit more difficult to spot and maybe in the heat of the battle have your allies shoot tanks you're spotting. Um, so maybe in a city map you go for tracks again in a platoon and then hope your platoon mates can shoot the tank you've tracked. Or if you're on a big open map, then it's just spot and get your platoon mates to shoot tanks you're spotting. Uh, secondary conditions. Uh, use use coated optics or binox. Uh, very easy. Just put binox on the tank. Uh, you should have two binox in the garage anyway. If you've checked out my equipment guide, um, SPG hunter spot an enemy SPG cause damage or any critical hit to it. Survive the battle. Okay, the key to this one, uh, and this is a key to the higher tier other tanks as well. Um, when you're trying to take out enemy RT, um, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, there's one way which can work but i don't recommend it and that's basically suiciding charging straight for enemy rt at the beginning of the game hoping your light tank is going to have the speed to break through the enemy line uh, and find an unprotected rt kill him before you um and kill him before you die uh, but the secondary condition is survive the battle so the best way to possibly do these enemy spgs is just keep an eye on that minimap don't play aggressively you're in a light tank but uh, to do this mission uh, don't play too aggressively don't get yourself killed very very easily because the light tank becomes more more dangerous more and more dangerous the later the the battle goes on when enemy tanks are dead and there's more room to maneuver as a result that's when you wait uh, for your moment to go and kill enemy arty um so basically preserve your hit points uh, don't suicide scout hang back make sure you're still alive in order to go for that spg when the opportunity uh, uh 
makes itself available. That's really the best advice I can give for that one, and it works for the higher tier SPG missions as well. Uh, light tank, uh, participate in the uh, successful capture of a base or reset enemy capture points of your neutral base or win the battle. Uh, straightforward, guys. Um, really, all you have to do is... If um, I don't advise driving straight towards the enemy cap uh, or trying to cap in an encounter game um, because enemy tanks are going to have time to respond to you early capping. But uh, easy way to do this is basically if it looks as if your team are winning and your team start capping, just hang around the cap, don't go looking for enemy tanks. When you're sure that the game is won or you're sure that the team are going to cap out, just drive into the cap circle and get a few cap points towards the end or help them cap if it's looking like a win. Uh, I don't like playing like that, so I never liked this mission. I'm really happy Wargaming reworked this uh, because they didn't have the defense points. They didn't have the cap defend points in this mission when I did it. So I ended up having to cap, which is kind of against my nature. Um, but reset... Uh, that's how I've been doing the missions at higher tiers or the, the other higher uh, personal missions. I've been actually doing the uh, cap reset missions by defending uh, as opposed to capping. But um, yeah, this one's a little bit RNG. It depends on the map. It depends on how good your team are, how bad your team are. Um, yeah, but again, if it looks as if you're going to be winning a game, just hang around the cap. Uh, but I much prefer if you're a more experienced player, you're going to go back and you're going to try and if the enemy team start ca start capping, go back and defend. And um, all you have to do is hit one tank once and the mission is over. Uh, secondary conditions, destroy an enemy vehicle by shooting or ramming it. Well, you can ignore the ramming it, just kill a tank. So kill a tank and cap, proceed and get a cap victory or reset, reset enemy tanks and then kill them. In fact, you could do this at the same time. You could reset an enemy uh, who's capping and kill him at the same time. So it's a pretty straightforward mission. A little bit RNG depending on the map and the, the, the matchmaking, but I don't think it's a difficult mission. Um, Hawkeye, spot at least two enemy vehicles before any enemy vehicle spots you. Now this one is important. You're gonna need a camo net. If you're playing low tier tanks, you don't have very many higher tier tanks, you're gonna wanna have a camo net. You wanna go drive up into a bush. You wanna be a little bit aggressive you want to be a little bit aggressive, but um, you want to be on the front lines, get up to a bush and just sit in that bush, let the camo net kick in uh, and then camo net and binox just sit there. Uh, all you have to do is spot. Friendlies don't have to hit them. Um, so you have to spot two tanks before they spot you. So once you've spotted two tanks, that's it. You can either stay there or you can relocate and start playing as normal. Secondary condition, just survive the battle. Um, I'm not really going to focus on secondary conditions. Uh, Light Tank 10, uh, finish the battle as a top player on your team by experience earned. Um, that's just have a good game. Have a really good game in a Light Tank. And again, Light Tanks are more dangerous the longer they're alive. The more longer the game goes on, Light Tanks become more and more dangerous. Dangerous. So you want to get in, you maybe do some spotting or do some damage. You get a lot, lots and lots of XP when you're doing damage in a light tank. So um, yeah, again, the looks, very good tank for this. Uh, if you're top tier in a looks, it's it's going to be, I won't say it's easy, but it's easier to finish as top player on your team in a looks because it's such an awesome tank. But um, yeah, this one, it's just down to you really having a really good game. You can do it through passive, you can do it through active spotting, or you can basically just have a good game. A uh, fair fight caused damage to at least four times to enemy vehicles that are of the same tier or your vehicle or higher, as your vehicle or higher. This one's very easy um, if you're in a light tank because light tanks tend to get bottom tier, they tend to get into a lot of higher tier games anyway, so cause damage at least four times. So basically shoot an enemy tank four times, uh, or four different enemy tanks, I'm not sure quite how it works, uh, that are of the same tier or higher. So um, yeah, this one's a little bit RNG. If you're constantly getting top tier, then you've got to focus on the tier fours on the enemy team. If you're not top tier, uh, then you're happy you're happy you're going to be able to do this mission cause at least a thousand hit points of damage yeah again the looks very good tank very good tank for doing this mission in um you can do a thousand hit points of damage it's you know it's not easy but it's it's not difficult when you consider you can uh, basically kill a lot of tanks with a single uh, magazine from a looks uh yeah so a thousand hit points of damage just means having a very good game uh you need to play aggressively there's no going to be passive sc uh, spotting in this game you're going to be playing actively you're going to be playing as a damage dealer uh, and all you have to do is cause damage to uh, four times 
so you're going to be causing damage and you're going to be doing a thousand hit points so yeah that one, that one is just down to your your skill level i can't give any other advice on that one um the ghost spot enemy vehicles and enable your allies to do at least 500 hit points to dam vehicles damaged by you again a little bit of orange jeep hope for a good map like uh, malinovka uh, or prokhorovka head into a nice passive spotting bush um and again you want to have binox you want to have camo net in your tank oh and it even says that <laughs> use the camo net equipment um so yeah this is all about passive scu uh, passive uh, scouting now you could do this active probably you know you can easily do it active but you've just got to hope that your allies do 500 hit points of damage to vehicle spotted by you but uh, again if you're having problems with this particular mission platoon uh, platoon uh, get your platoon mates to shoot the tanks you're spotting uh, like tank 13 the key to victory uh, first platoon mission spot enemy vehicles enable your allies to do 1500 damage to enemy vehicles uh, spotting damage caused by platoon mates count towards this total again platooning uh, you gotta have maybe good players in your platoon hope they're shooting the tanks you're spotting or at least make sure they're shooting the tanks you spot uh, you have to do a thousand damage to enemy vehicles yourself so just like a previous mission you're going to be playing it you're going to have to do some damage i think the looks is a good tank to do this in because as i say one burst from that magazine you're going to be doing 250 damage to an enemy tank anyway uh, and damage caused by platoon mates counts towards this total so basically your platoon mates or you have to do up to a total of 1000 damage um so not not, you know, it's not easy, but it's not that difficult a mission if you're playing lower tier tanks. Uh, and this could be completed either on your own or as part of a platoon. So it's definitely going to be easier as part of a platoon. But if you are playing solo, Camonet, Binox, do some passive scouting towards the end. And then just remember, you're going to have to do a thousand hit points uh, yourself if you're playing alone because... It's only platoon mates that count towards the total uh, and survive the battle for the secondary. And one could be the first really, really tricky one. Um, it really depends, again, on your skill level. It's definitely going to be an easier mission with platoon mates, although you don't have to be in a platoon. Uh, the battle watch. Spot enemy vehicles and enable your allies to do at least 2,000 hit points of damage to enemy vehicles. Uh, spotting damage caused by platoon mates counts towards this total. Okay, so let's just get 2,000 um, 2, spotting damage. And again, if you're in a platoon, it's saying you don't have to be in a platoon. But again, it's going to be a lot easier if you are in a platoon and your platoon mates are in a position to shoot what you're spotting. Again, a little bit orangey. Hope for a good map. Hope for a good spotting map. You're going to use your camo, uh, your camo net and your binox. Um, and, you you know, as I say, the looks is perfectly capable of doing this. Even something like the ELC, very good map for, or very good tank for this uh, sort of mission. Uh, and again, can be completed on your own or as part of a platoon so yeah my my recommendation is do it as a platoon and hope your platoon mates are aware that you need to they need to shoot the tanks you're spotting again personally survive the battle and finally the aggressive recon specialist usually the 15th mission is the most difficult so the total damage caused and the damage uh, you the total damage caused and the damage caused by your allies upon your spotting or destroying the track of an enemy vehicle must be at least 4,000 hit points. Uh, once again, once again, um, probably easier to do in a platoon, uh, but if you're not in a platoon, it is possible to do it alone. Higher, the higher tier your tank, unfortunately, the easier it is to do this, because if you're playing, trying to do this mission in a tier four light tank, there are far fewer, less hit points on the enemy team because they're playing low tier tanks. There's fewer hit points. So this is one that you really should do in a higher tier light tank, if you've got one, uh, because the higher tier you are, the higher tier the enemy tanks are, and the more hit points are gonna be on the battlefield. So you're going to be getting that mission done a lot easier if in a higher tier light tank. So, you know, when you consider something like a mouse has 300 or 3000 hit points, um, or, you know, you'd spot two tier tens and they get killed. Um, that's, that's the mission done. So this one, not an easy mission. If you're only playing low tier tanks, um, it's not an easy mission in a low tier light tank, uh, possibly try and play it in as high a tier as possible. I mean, it, it's possible, but it's, it's, it's going to be very difficult to do this in a tier four light tank, uh, minimum, minimum you'd probably Probably do this mission in as a chaffee and even then it's not that easy or an elc it's not that easy you gotta hope that you get into higher tier that you're gonna be a bottom tier tank in a higher tier game uh, and if you want to cheat the system if you want to cheat the system a little bit what you could do is you could play maybe an elc or a chaffee that can do a job even though they don't see tier 10s what you could do is you could platoon with tier 8s 
tier 9s, tier 10s. A um, little bit of a failed platoon, but it's not that big an issue when you're in a light tank because a tier 5 light tank can do what a tier 8 light tank can do. Um, it can spot just as well. Um, so you might want to fail platoon and try and get your light tank into a much higher tier game than you would normally expect to get it in. Then hope for a good map, get into a, an early bush, do some spotting and as I say it's much easier to accomplish when you're in a higher tier game but if you're having trouble with this then I do recommend fail platooning um, but you're gonna have to, as I say, I don't re reckon that tier 4 tanks are good for this one. I do reckon you're gonna need at least one tier 5 light tank but um, yeah, it's possible to do in a tier 4, Yeah, but it's going to be a lot more difficult. It's easier to do in a tier 5 or a higher tier light. Uh, moving on to medium tanks. Cause damage to an enemy vehicle, win the battle pretty easy. Um, fire at least 6 shots that cause damage to enemy vehicles. These are medium tanks. Come on guys, you could, this, is, this is a fairly straightforward mission. Fire 6 shots that cause damage. Actually, I might as well switch this to mediums. What? I've got quite a lot. Yeah, I've got a lot of premium tier 5s. Um, so yeah, tier 4s, tier 5 medium tanks. Um, most tanks, most tanks are probably good for this sort of mission. You can do it in pretty much any medium tank, tier 4, tier 5 medium tank. Uh, something like the Matilda might actually be better than some of the other medium tanks simply because the rate of fire on the Matilda, a tier 4, is so good. Um, you can pump out shots very, very quickly and it's, you know, you don't have to kill anything other than destroy an enemy vehicle for your secondary uh, you just need to fire six shots that cause damage to enemy vehicles and it could be the same vehicle so the Matilda can fire six shots incredibly quickly but uh, this one's straightforward I mean just fire six shots that do damage um, pretty straightforward uh, cause damage to an enemy vehicle during the first two minutes of the battle uh, again be very aggressive get to the front line shoot an enemy tank and then fall back um, you've got to survive for the secondary but again not a difficult mission uh, stay still would you destroy the track of an enemy vehicle and cause damage to the immobilized vehicle before its track is repaired again what you want to do is you want a, a rapid firing gun to do this uh, something like the Panzer 4H I'm going to recommend this for a lot of missions think if you're going to be doing personal missions this tank is an absolute must to have in your garage but um, something that is a little bit more rapid firing but also has okay alpha damage um, do I have anything that isn't a premium? No, not really. Uh, but yeah, straightforward. Um, you're not going to want a slow reload on your medium tank. You want a re relatively good reload. Um, simply just aim for the track for a shot. If you don't track him, fire him, fire again. Fire again till the enemy tank is tracked and then you shoot him anywhere else. And um, yeah, you can basically get this mission done. A little bit of RNG, a little bit skill based, but um, it's it's not a difficult mission. Uh, here, destroy an enemy, uh, a mobilized enemy vehicle before its track is repaired. As you see, I haven't even done the secondary on this one. I just flew through all the missions as quickly as I could. Uh, I will go back and redo these eventually, but um, yeah, I mean, it's not, um, it's not, uh, it's kind of a little bit RNG. Um, if you track an enemy tank as it comes around the corner and keep it tracked till you kill it, uh, you can do it, but uh, a little bit of luck based, uh, a little bit of skill based, uh, but it's not impossible. Um, counter reconnaissance, uh, cause damage to an enemy light tank by shooting or ramming it. You're in a medium tank. That's simply it. Just shoot a light tank and the game is over. Uh, survive the battle. Uh, mission very, very easy. Rapid fire cause damage to enemy vehicles of three different types. Um, this one again, straightforward. No advice I can give you on this one. Uh, simply just shoot three tanks of three different types. So shoot a heavy, shoot a medium, and shoot maybe a TD or RT or light tank in the same game. Um, nothing, nothing major there. Secondary survive the battle. Um, no big deal. Um, moving on, uh, destroy at least one enemy SPG in a medium tank. This my advice for this one is exactly the same as the light tank. Don't give away your hit points. Don't play too aggressively at the beginning because there's a good chance you might die. It depends on your skill level, of course, but um, the longer you survive, the more opportunity there is for the map to open up where enemy tanks have died. Try and wait for a break in the enemy lines and then go for it. Go for RT. Um, obviously, the faster and more maneuverable your uh, medium tank is the better. Um, I actually used I actually used the um, derp gun on the Panzer IV H for this particular mission. In fact, I used it for a lot of missions um, because the derp gun on the Panzer IV H allows me to one hit kill enemy SPGs. And when I'm doing these missions, one of the problems I have is that, especially when I'm playing higher tier missions or the missions for the other tanks, is I can destroy or I can go in and I can spot an enemy SPG. 
uh, and I might put one shot on him, you know, in on him and leave him on low health and someone else nicks the kill. Um, but yeah, it's basically with the Panzer IV H you hit enemy RT with your derp gun, enemy RT is dead. So um, it might be, it might, it's not the fastest, most maneuverable tank, but it's, it's it might be a good one if you're struggling, might be a good tank to try this mission with. But other other than that, just simply survive, wait for a break in the enemy lines, and then uh, go RT hunting. Um, best advice I can give for that one. Um, confrontation. Um, what's this one? Cause damage to enemy medium tanks at least three times by shooting them. Okay, yeah, like j basically just shoot an enemy medium tank three times. Um, total damage caused to the enemy medium tank must be at least 500 hit, hit points. Now again, um, the more tanks you have, the high it's this is so much easier uh, when you're playing higher tier medium tanks because you know, the problem is uh, low tier medium tanks, they don't have a lot of health, but um, basically this is just focus on killing enemy medium tanks. And once again, um, Panzer IV H, very good tank to do that with because one hit with a Panzer IV H is going to do close to 400 damage. Um, so you just need to hit enemy tanks twice. Um, the other thing is enemy medium tanks, if they're quite well armored, um, you don't actually have to get a penning hit. You can just basically shoot them and the HE is going to do damage to them anyway. So I think the Panzer IV H is a decent tank for doing this mission. But again, it's, it's, it's really up to you. There are lots and lots of choices. Um, obviously much easier to do in higher tier medium tanks. Uh, cause at least 500 hit points to enemy heavy tanks that are of the same tier or higher than you. A little bit orangey, a little bit matchmaker dependent, but again, you can sort of cook the, you know, cheat a little bit by maybe fail platooning a little bit instead of, instead of, um, Instead of platooning with uh, other tier 5s, for example, if you're trying to do this in the Panzer IV H, instead of platooning with tier 5s, you can platoon with tier 6s. So you're going to be a tier 5 with tier 6s. You might, you might get into a tier 8 game, in which case you fail platoon, but if you get into a tier 7 game, if you get into a tier 6 game, there are going to be lots of higher tier tanks, um, and you're not technically fail platoon. So um, yeah, it's, it's probably a good one to do, um, have to be enemy heavy tanks that are of the same tier or higher. Uh, easy one to do if you're top tier, um, just focus on the enemy heavies, but if you're failing or having problems with it, yeah, fail platoon a little bit, uh, it's possible to do. Um, damage, cause damage to enemy vehicles at least two times by shooting them. Um, yeah, okay, pretty easy. <laughs> I mean, it's straightforward. Just shoot two enemy tanks. Um, destroy an enemy vehicle by shooting or ramming it. Again, just kill an enemy tank, shoot one twice, pretty straightforward, can't give you any advice. Cause damage to an enemy vehicle by ramming it. Now, this one is a little bit different. You're going to need a fast, you're going to need a fast medium tank in order to do this mission. I can't remember, I can't remember what mission or what uh, tank I actually used for this, but uh, it's a medium tank. You want to be quite fast. You don't want to be driving a Matilda. Um, Panzer IV H is a little bit too slow for this one. Um, T25, um, very, very quick. T25, if you've got that premium tank, might be a good one to do. But as you can see, I don't have very many low tier medium tanks, so I don't even remember what medium tank I used for it. Uh, but my best advice for this one is um, lightly armored light tanks. Um, you know, uh, play a medium tank and try and ram an enemy light tank. You're going to have much more chance of ramming him to death. Um, now, it's only caused damage. You don't have to actually kill him. So, um, yeah, I suppose technically you could do it any tank. A um, little bit orangey. Um, you could do it to Arty. Suppose you've gotten to the rear of Arty. Just ram him. Um, you manage to find Arty. There's a good chance you're going to kill Arty with a ram kill. But, um, yeah, you don't even have to survive. You could suicide ram. And as long as your team win the battle, it doesn't matter. So just ram a vehicle. Uh, the faster your tank, the better, but you don't even need a fast tank. Um, moving on, the incinerator. This one's complete RNG. Set a vehicle, enemy vehicle on fire. Uh, this one is much, much easier to do. Uh, it's much more difficult to do at higher tier or the, the, um, later missions. Uh, this one, you only have to set an enemy vehicle on fire once. Now, it is RNG based. Sometimes you could do it in the first game. I think I did it in the first or second game. Uh, but uh, then I've been stuck on this mission for like a month on, on the when the missions start getting harder for the other reward tanks. Um, set an, an enemy vehicle on fire. Uh, this is easiest at tier 4, tier 5, and tier 6, I think, I, I would say, because uh, when you're playing tier 4, tier 5, and tier 6 medium tanks, you're going to be seeing a lot of KV-1s, you're going to be seeing a lot of KV-1s, you're going to be seeing a lot of T-150s, and those tanks just go on fire if you look at their engines. Um, pick a rapid firing gun. Again, Matilda might be a good one for this because it's rapid firing. Just keep pouring shots into their engine at the, at the rear of the tank. Russian tanks love to go on fire when you shoot their engines. Keep pouring fire into their engines. and. 
the reason I'm saying a rapid firing gun is, for example, if I'm playing, let's say, if I play, for example, the T25, okay, I might be able to kill a KV-1 in, I don't know, three shots to his engine deck. I might actually kill him before I have an opportunity to set him on fire. Uh, if I'm playing the Matilda and I shoot a KV-1's engine deck, then I can shoot him five, six, seven times before he goes on fire. So I get more opportunity. Uh, less alpha damage, but more rapid firing. I get much more opportunity to set an enemy tank on fire. It's probably easiest, as I say, at, you, you know, when you're doing this mission at this tier, tier four, tier five, tier six. Russian heavies love going on fire, but it's completely RNG. Simply just focus on shooting engines instead of the rest of the tank, and you'll get it eventually. Um, platoon missions cause at least 3,000 damage to enemy vehicles, and damage caused by platoon mates count towards this total. Again, much, much easier in higher tier medium tanks. Incredibly easy in higher tier medium tanks. Um, but if if you're in a lower tier medium tank, it's ah, it's just this is a really difficult one to do. Um, you got a platoon, uh, pick decent tanks again. Pick a Panzer IV H, uh, where you can do three, four hundred damage a shot if you can you can hit enemy tanks. But uh, this one just this one is a difficult one for lower tiers. Um, really, the best advice I have for this is pick the highest tier medium tank you have and platoon platoon with some good players. Um, wolf pack if you need to. Um, damage towards platoon mates must count uh, towards your total. So maybe even platoon with arty. I I I really no idea. Just the only advice I can give is higher tier. Um, so yeah, can be completed as on your own. So you can play solo and do three k damage, uh, or you can play as a platoon and do three k damage. But yeah, go go for higher tiers, highest tier you have, uh, and platoon if you you have to. Um, Personally, be among the top five players on experience earned. That's just down to your skill level. Uh, destroy at least three enemy vehicles. Enemy vehicles destroyed by platoon mates count towards this total. Uh, yep, okay. So your platoon. Again, you have to be in a platoon. You have to kill three enemy tanks. Uh, and again, cause at least 1,500 hit points of damage to enemy vehicles now. Damage caused by platoon mates count towards this total. This is just pretty simple. Um, you can play it solo have a 1500 uh, damage game and kill three and the mission is done but again obviously uh, in lower tier tanks they need less hit points on the battlefield so platooning makes this mission a little bit easier um, hunter and the hunted destroy at least two enemy tank destroyers again i didn't do the secondary um yeah but destroy two enemy tank destroyers this one this one panzer 4h every single time guys uh you can one hit kill if the, if the panzer 4h gets top tier even if it's not top tier it's going to one hit kill enemy tank destroyer all these lightly armored enemy tank destroyers very easy to one hit kill them with the derp gun on the uh, Panzer IV H. I used the Panzer IV H to do this mission. I actually remember doing this mission in the Panzer IV H. I used it to do the mission one tier higher. Um, so yeah, it's, it's um, yep. Yeah. That's that's my advice. Go for a. It's a little bit orangey. You can do it in any any medium tank, but it's a little bit easier because I can one hit kill them. Quite often, what might happen is if you're playing a medium tank and you want to damage a tank destroyer, someone else nicks the kill. So uh, Panzer IV H guarantees that kill with a one hit kill. Heavy tanks. Um, okay, destroy an enemy vehicle. Pretty straightforward. Uh, destroy an enemy vehicle from a distance of 100 meters or less. Straightforward. Destroy two enemy vehicles of th two different types. Um, yeah, it's just very, very straightforward. Destroy one, uh, destroy or damage or destroy one internal module or injure a crew member of an enemy tank. Uh, complete RNG. Um, again, my advice maybe is use something like a KV-1S with a derp gun. Um, or maybe use the uh, KV-1 with the derp gun, um, because HE does more damage to internal modules and crew members, but you don't even need a derp gun to do this uh, if you know what you're doing. It's RNG, can do it, might be able to do it with any tank in the game, but uh, you just have to hit and damage enemy tanks and cross your fingers. But my advice would maybe to use a heavy tank with a derp gun. Uh, it'll be much, much easier to complete the mission. Um, I need to go back and do the secondary on this one as well. Uh, cause at least a thousand hit points to, of damage to enemy vehicles at close range. Again, you're a heavy tank. Uh, hope for a, a top tier heavy game. Um, um, basically, just play on the front lines. Hope for a city map, side scrape. Uh, KV-1 is a good one to do. This one in, do 100 hit points of damage, you can do it. Uh, KV-85 is another one that's very easy to do this mission in because you can do 1,000 100, hit points of damage pretty easily. But you do have to play as a heavy tank. You do have to play on the front line. Um, and it says um, up to the view range of your vehicle. So again, you don't even have to be that much close range as long as 
the enemy tanks are within the, your view range, um, you can get this mission done. So uh, pretty easy. I really can't give any advice for that one. Destroy at least two enemy heavy tanks. Um, again, um, what you might want to do for this one, if you're having problems getting into games with heavy tanks, sometimes I do, um, what you might want to do is platoon with two other heavy tanks so that you're a three-man heavy tank platoon, uh, and that way you're guaranteed usually to have uh, heavy tanks on the enemy team. Um, but really, it's, it's a little bit matchmaker dependent, so I really can't give advice. Uh, participate in a successful capture of a base or reset enemy capture points of your neutral base. Again, um, complete RNG. Um, I've done these missions with base re uh, uh, cap resets more recently as opposed to base cap. But um, yeah, you're a heavy tank, so you're going to be moving in. You're going to be on the front lines. Um, and this is one of these ones where you probably just want to go on and play on a front line, hope for a city map, uh, and then just go in and, and, and basically just start capping on something like Lakeville. Um, it's, it's really very, very... Um, very very orangey base or not orangey it's very very situational um and you need to cause at least a thousand damage to enemy vehicles so there's no sitting back and waiting for your friendlies to clear the cap zone before moving in and cap you've actually got to do some damage so uh again lots of heavy tanks capable of doing this as i say as, as i say i think mid-tier russian tanks are probably the best ones mid-tier russian heavies just because they're so good um Heavy tank 8, do a thousand damage to enemy heavy tanks. Again, very, very straightforward. Probably, you know, again, platoon with other heavy tanks to guarantee that there are heavy tanks on the enemy team. Um, heavy tank crushing blow. Destroy an enemy vehicle by ramming. Again, this is complete and utter RNG. Um, this one you might want to... Uh, you might want to kind of forget about playing Russian heavies um, again because they're not particularly quick but on the other hand they are slow so it can completely RNG um, I actually think I did this mission because someone rammed me someone rammed me or tried to ram me to death as opposed to me ramming anyone but uh, again RT light tanks tank destroyers lightly armored tanks you're in a heavy tank you're gonna be doing more damage by ramming so um, Oh, I did the T-28 heavy tank concept ramming mission in the Excelsior because it's quite a fast uh, heavy tank. Uh, but yeah, I think I did this one uh, for the Stug by someone ramming themselves to death on me. Um, it's just very difficult. It could be very, very easy. You could get it in the first game or, you know, you could end up dying a lot and taking a long time to get it. Um, the faster and heavier your media or your heavy tank is, the easier it's going to be. Uh, and try and focus on you know, tanks with low health or tanks that are very lightly armoured. Um, just RNG. Uh, be amongst the top three players on your team by damage caused. Again, um, that's just down to your skill level. There's no advice I can give for this. Um, moving on, not even a scratch. Cause at least 1,000 hit points of damage by the end of the battle. Um, okay, so you got to do 1,000 damage. you got to survive. you got to destroy two enemy vehicles for the secondary. But this is it. Do not have any damaged or destroyed internal modules or injured crew members on your vehicle. So you're going to want to have... a a first aid kit you're going to want to have a repair kit and if you can afford them go for the uh, premium repair premium um first aid kit but you don't need them um simply play normally and just as the battle's about to end have a look make sure you don't have any damaged crew members or modules if you do use the repair kit if you do use the first aid kit and as i say the premiums are probably better to use uh, premium repair kit, premium uh, fire extinguisher, because you know you might have two damage crew members, or you might have two damage modules. In that case, then uh, they're going to basically complete the mission by using them. It's going to cost you sixty thousand or forty thousand credits um, to do it, but uh, very easy to do with premium consumables. On the other hand, you can do it with regular consumables as well. But you're definitely, you know, you either play incredibly passively and not take any damage, or you can just put you know first aid kits and repair kits on your on your tank and just repair just before the end of the battle uh pretty easy mission um sturdy armor damage blocked by armor must exceed equal or exceed the hit points of your vehicle and you must do a thousand damage um yeah obviously obviously you're going to want to drive a um a, a pre or a heavy tank with the great armor um you want to drive a kv1 you're going to be driving a um maybe yeah kv1 probably probably the best tier low tier heavy to do this in you can do it in any tank you can do it in any tank i mean you could do it in the um t1 heavy 
the American Heavy. Uh, you could do it in the T1 Heavy if you go hull down. Um, but I do recommend the KV-1 because you can side scrape at the KV-1 and enemy tanks are also going to have problems pinning you frontally. So um, yeah, it's it's really down to the tanks you have in your garage for this one. But obviously the better armor on your tank, the better. Uh, moving on, um, Storm the Defense. You can do this as a platoon. Destroy an enemy vehicle in the first three minutes of the battle. Again, complete RNG. You're a heavy tank. You want to be playing, playing on the front line, especially if you're top tier. Just go in um, and if you're having trouble struggling to kill a tank in the first three minutes, you can do this as a platoon. So what you might want to do is platoon, have your platoon mate shoot an enemy tank so he's on low health and then you get the kill. Uh, but stick together with your platoon mates, focus fire enemy tanks and then try and get the kill if he's on low health, or the enemy tank's on low health. Uh, but again, it can be completed as on your own. So destroy an enemy vehicle and again in the first three minutes, it's a, you know, you could destroy a light tank. You could pretty much one hit kill a light tank or, um, you know, uh, or tank destroyer, lightly armored tank destroyer, if you're using a, something like a KV-1S with a derp gun. A um, little bit RNG, a little bit skill based, but I don't think it's a difficult mission. Um, take that hill, um, destroy three enemy vehicles of two different types. Again, complete down to matchmaker. Uh, you gotta play aggressively, well, you don't even have to. You can hope for the enemy tanks to come to you, but uh, simply just look for two different types. Kill, you know, uh, destroy a heavy tank, destroy a medium tank, destroy a light tank, destroy a TD. Uh, pretty, pretty easy. Um, and it's very easy because enemy vehicles destroyed by a platoon count towards this total. So, again, if you're in a platoon, all you have to do is, between the platoon, kill two tanks of two different types. Um, pretty simple, um, solo or as a platoon. Um, moving on to the 15. Uh, damage caused, damage received, and damage blocked by armor must total at least 6,000 hit points. Now again, obviously this is going to be the, the higher tier heavy tank you have, the easier this is going to be. If you've only got low tier heavy tanks, then yeah, um, I, I really it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult on a low tier heavy tank. It's not going to be impossible, but it's going to be difficult. Um, this is this is one of these missions where really you've got to either have a dream game or you've got to have a higher tier tank. And if you've got a higher tier heavy tank, the mission is a lot easier. Uh, but just remember, it, it's damage caused. So you you know if you do. 1500 damage you're only going to need 4500 hit points left um damage received so assume you've got you've just taken 500 hit points of damage then you've only got to do 4000 so damage blocked by armor must be 4000 um a lot of this if you're in a lower tier tank i would say focus on the damage caused but uh, this this one's really difficult on a low tier tank guys it really the, the only advice i can give is the higher tier your heavy tank is the easier this mission is uh, otherwise you're going to have to have an absolutely dream game um tank destroyers um to be among the top 7 players by experience easy destroy it in one internal module or injure a crew member enemy vehicle I use the SU-152 for this one you can do it in any tank it's a little bit RNG based but uh, again if you're firing a tank uh, with our firing HE you're actually going to have more chance of damaging modules or crew members um, destroy cause damage to two enemy vehicles straightforward destroy an enemy vehicle remain unspotted by it at the moment of its destruction so again play a TD use a camo net or play passively let other tanks sh uh, spot for you uh, and basically just shoot from distance but basically the important thing here is use uh, shoot from distance um, use a camo net equipment for the secondary so use a camo net shoot from distance don't be on the front line uh, and you just need to destroy one so pretty straightforward cause damage to an enemy vehicle from a distance of 300 meters or more again you've got to be playing passively you got to let your friendly spot for you sit back let them spot and you shoot tanks that are they're spotting uh, precise calculation cause damage to an enemy vehicle from a distance of 200 feet uh, enemy vehicle must be on the move this one's a little bit difficult this this one is a little bit difficult um, basically you, you've got to kill an enemy tank while it's on the move and it needs to be 250 meters or more so it can't be one of these scenarios where an enemy tank is rolling in on you he's almost on top of you and you shoot him he needs to be 250 meters or more so shoot a tank on the move um i can't really give any advice uh, a turreted td would find this one easier than a fi uh, forward facing td a td with no turret because a TD with no turret needs to move its hull uh, and then it's going to have to go through that aim time again so it's harder to hit tanks on the move unless they're driving straight towards you if you're in a turreted TD um, but you know that that would be advice I mean wait for a tank to turn and drive towards you uh, and shoot him while he's driving towards you as opposed from side to side but I think this one would be easier in a turreted TD like uh, for example a Hellcat or a Wolverine or a T-67 
Um, first strike, destroy an enemy vehicle having received no prior damage to your vehicles. Again, very, very straightforward. Um, play a, any tank destroyer and just try and kill a tank without having suffered any damage. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, no advice on that one. Cause damage exceeding at least two times the hit points of your vehicle. Very, very easy, guys, especially in low-tier TDs. Uh, low-tier TDs, they don't have a lot of hit points. Um, so, you know, you can do it tier four and up. Um, T40, one of my newest purchases in the garage. Going to try and get an ace tanker as soon as I start playing it. But you can see the, the T40 only has 275 hit points. Uh, and if 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 I manage to land a shot with this derp gun and pen, it gets 410. So uh, lots and lots of low tier TDs. Very, very easy. Very, very easy to do this mission because low tier TDs have absolutely no hit points. Absolutely no hit points. So all you have to do is just do damage and you're more than likely going to get this mission done straight away. Uh, moving on. Um, TD spot on. Um, score at least three hits in a row and I have to be... The, so hit three damaging hits in a row against enemy vehicles. Um, uh, best advice for this one is um, you can use any TD for this one. It's not that difficult, but uh, choose a rapid firing a, a tank with a very fast reload. So uh, something like the M8A1, a tier four, might be a good one to do this one in, or the T67, a tier five, um, or even the AT2, AT2. Um, something that is rapid firing and has decent penetration like those three tanks I mentioned. Um, you've got to have armor penetrating hits, so using a tank with a derp gun, maybe not a good idea. Uh, so yeah, rapid firing, um, good penetration, that's all you need on your TD, and the fact that, you know, if it has a turret, it'll make it a little bit easier. Um, moving on, uh, cause 1,000 damage to enemy vehicles remain unspotted at the moment when the damage is caused. So again, you've got to play this very, very passively. You've got to have camo net, binox, sit at the back, let friendly tank spot for you but all you've got to do is a thousand damage which is you know it, it, it can be hard if you're a little bit inexperienced at the game but it's it's possible it is very possible in a low tier TD to do a thousand damage um, again obviously the higher your TD uh, the easier but um yeah, it, you can do this at a low tier TD. Uh, finish finish the battle as top player on your team by damage caused. Okay, um, again, this is completely down to your skill level. Um, you know, pick a tank that's capable of doing damage. You have to do at least a thousand damage. Uh, but um, low tier tanks, capable. Low tier TDs, perfectly capable of doing damage. Um, all you have to do is finish as top tier on your to player on your team by damage, not even by XP. So uh, you can play passively. You don't have to be the one doing the spotting uh, and getting more XP as a result. Uh, it's simply just do a thousand damage and be the top player on your team by damage. So put your tank into a position where you're going to be able to shoot enemy tanks. Uh, as I say, you can play aggressively if you're in something like the AT2 or you can play more defensively uh, if you're not. Um, but yeah, low tier tank, it's capable. It's capable of doing this. Uh, big game hunting, destroy an enemy heavy tank, cause at least a thousand hit points of damage. Complete RNG. Very, very straightforward uh, mission, but if you are having problems with it, maybe platoon with heavy tanks so that you have more chance of getting heavy tanks on the enemy team. Um, just primary conditions. Um, Destroy at least three enemy vehicles. Enemy vehicles destroyed by platoon mates count towards this total. Again, uh, much, much easier. You could do it solo and kill three enemy tanks, or you can play in a platoon. And, you know, if the platoon kill three enemy tanks between them, that's the mission done. Uh, personally survive secondary. Uh, very, very straightforward. Easy to do in a low tier tank destroyer. Very, very easy. Um, cause at least 20% of the da total damage caused by the enemy vehicles by your team. Damage caused by this one, yeah, this one, uh, possible to do solo, but I would really, really recommend doing it by a with a platoon. Uh, pl pl uh, platoon damage in total must be 20% of the total damage by your team. So you're not going to be playing that passively. You're not going to be, pl you're going to be playing a little bit more aggressively, in which case I recommend the M8A1 or the T67 because you want to get up to the front lines. You want to try and use camo rating. You want to try and get damage done. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, basically a fast maneuverable tank allows you to move around the battlefield um you know for example if you've won one flank having a fast maneuverable tank destroyer allows you to get over to the other flank quicker uh, and get some damage done over there whereas if you're in a slower tank destroyer you're not going to be able to uh, but yeah this is possible very very possible much easier in a platoon than solo and finally td15 uh, cause at least 3,000 hit points of damage to enemy vehicles. Um, okay, so once again, TD-15, um, 3,000 damage. I did 3,000 damage in the AT-2 uh, last week. Um, it's very, very difficult, uh, but it's possible. But you have to have a, 
an incredibly good game to try and do 3,000 damage in a low tier tank destroyer. Um, and again, the reason is because there are so few hit points on the enemy team. Um, if there are you know, if it's if it's a tier four game, if it's a tier five game, so few hit points on the enemy team. Uh, it's possible, but very difficult. Uh, much easier to do in higher tier games. Much much easier to do in a higher tier game. I mean, as I say, you know, a mouse has got three thousand hit points by itself. So um, much easier to do in a higher tier tank destroyer. Um, again, I wouldn't recommend it, and possibly anything less than a tier six tank destroyer. Um, if you do have tier 6 tank destroyers then it's going to be a lot easier to do 3k damage because these tier 6 tanks can get into tier 8 games and if it gets into a tier 8 game then there's so much more hit so many more hit points it's still not going to be easy but uh, you've got far more chance of doing it when you're bottom tier in a tier 8 game than you are when you're even top tier in a tier 4 game um, almost impossible so um, I think maybe even I, I wouldn't say fail platoon for this one but definitely you're going to need a tier 6 to do this because it's so so difficult to do it in any tank destroyer that isn't tier 6 um, and even then it's almost impossible uh, SU-100Y is a premium tank that's capable of doing 3k damage but you need to have a very good game um, the Hellcat is capable of doing it again but you need to have a very good game um, the Jackson can do it but you need to have a very good all of these tanks all of these tanks can do it but you need to have a very very good game it's going to be very difficult difficult even with a tier 6. The only chance of having, you know, being able to do it in a mid-tier TD is to try and get it into a higher tier game. Um, and even then, it's it's, it's not going to be easy, guys. You're probably going to have to, if you are in a higher tier game and you're in a tier 6 TD, you're probably going to have to fire a lot of premium ammo. Um, that's that's the only advice I can give. Uh, it's one of these missions that's just much easier to do if you're in a higher tier tank because, you know, <laughs> FE215B is capable of doing 2k damage with one hit. Um, if you're in lower tier tanks, you're just going to find it very, very difficult to complete. I, I can't give you ma any major advice on this and doing it in a low tier tank simply because there aren't that many hit points on the enemy team. You're either going to have to fail platoon or you're going to have to play at least tier 6 where you're getting up against tier 8s that have 13, 1400 hit points. Um, just so, so difficult. Unless you came across a couple of togs in a low tier, a couple of low tier, uh, or if you're in a low tier TD and you come across a couple of AFK togs, it might be possible to do. But just usually the hit points are just not there for tier 4s, tier 5s. Uh, and the hit points are there for tier 6s, but they're very, very difficult to... Uh, get 3k games um it's a very difficult uh very very difficult mission if you, if you don't have higher tier tds guys uh, i'm not going to go into the rt missions because rt missions are complete rng um there is absolutely nothing no advice i can give for rt missions every single rt mission is rng uh because your shot can hit the target or it can miss the target but um yeah, it's just complete and utter RNG. Um, so I'm not going to talk about RT missions, guys. Sorry. Uh, and to unlock the Stug, you don't have to do RT. You don't have to play RT. Um, so basically, um, if you finish the TD, if you finish the 15th mission for the four previous classes with honors, then you can unlock the Stug without having to play any RT whatsoever. Um, so if you were hoping for RT advice, I can't give it. It's just RNG. Easier to do in higher tier RT, but again, even then, your shot's either going to hit or it's not going to hit um, uh, complete RNG you could track an enemy tank and then you know friendlies aren't going to hit the tank you've just tracked um, complete complete RNG um, so there we go I mean these are the missions um, I could I could do the entire thing again uh, for the T28 concept but these are exactly the same missions they're just more difficult um, but my advice is exactly the same for these missions my advice is exactly the same they're just the same missions just more difficult um, so you know cap a base participate while earning at least 20 base cap points or 20 base reset uh, they're just it's the same mission but same advice just it's just a little bit more difficult these have to be done in tanks of tier 5 or higher uh, and again most of the advice I've given and um, you're going to need tier 5s you're going to need tier 6 tanks you're going to need tier 4 tier 5 and tier 6 tanks if you're going to have any chance of doing these missions in the first place so um yeah these are all exactly the same same missions just more difficult um Where's that medium tank? Conf uh, surprise. Rapid fire, is that it? No. Confrontation. 
Um, instead of having to set a tank on fire, I can't remember what that mission was. The incinerator, there we go. Uh, set an enemy vehicle on fire that's one tier higher than the vehicle, or your vehicle. Um, yeah, so once again, uh, fail platoon. Guys, uh, if you're in if you're in missions that uh, the missions get more difficult, if you get into missions where it's saying a tank you need to shoot tanks higher tier or you need to set a higher tier tank on fire, um, you know platoon one tier higher than you. So if you're in a tier five medium tank, platoon with tier sixes to guarantee more tier sixes on the enemy team. Uh, I'm really um, if you've got any specific missions, um, uh, as I say, I do, I, this is such a long video and I'm just waffling now. Um, I'm trying to give you guys advice, but it's, it's so, so difficult because player skill uh, and RNG takes a huge, uh, is such a huge impact on personal missions. Um, if you're having problems with specific missions, tell me what missions they are um, in, the, in the comments and then I'll try and answer you in the comments of the video uh, and give you advice for that specific mission. But I've covered pretty much everything I can do. I, this is probably not the type of video you want. Um, it's just me waffling, but you guys recorded, or you guys requested it. It's how I tank on personal missions. I'd love to be able to do a better video, but I can't, um, I can't. Uh, I'm not that high up the personal missions myself. Um, it's, it's just, a lot of the missions are RNG, um, you know, set a vehicle on fire, use a low alpha rapid firing gun, um, face tanks higher tiers than you, fail platoon, um, kill, oh, kill three RT, damage three RT, that's a really difficult mission. Uh, best advice for that one is platoon with two RT. So if you're in a medium tank or a light tank mission where you've got to kill or damage more than one RT, uh, platoon. And if you platoon with two RT, that usually guarantees two RT are on the enemy team, which means you've got a chance of doing the mission. Uh, if you've got to damage or kill three enemy RT, uh, for, like you do for the T-55A, then yeah, uh, platoon with two RT, that way you guarantee at least two RT on the enemy team and more chance of doing the mission. But uh, really, if you're having problems on specific missions, let me know in the comments. I'll try and reply to you in the comments. This is, as I say, is probably not an exciting video. It's a lot of talking, a lot of me waffling. Uh, and you're probably sick of listening to me, but um, there we go. That's the best I can do. You guys requested it. Um, I, it's not a video I was planning to do because it's just so RNG, but um, you requested it. It's done. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you next time.